So the first thing that you need to do is go over to your handlers folder to your events handler. If you've been following along this tutorial series, then your handler should look like this, but it doesn't matter what handler you're currently using, we're gonna be changing that. So let's uh, remove all of uh, the included code inside of the model export code block and remove the FS require because we won't be using that package anymore. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is actually requiring client from the Discord package. So we type const client with the capital C equals require discord.js. All right, this is just for our parameters. So it's easier for us to write code. Uh, now we're gonna install a package called globe. I've already done it. So if you haven't, you go down to your console and you type npm i globe. And once that is done, you hit enter and it will be automatically downloaded. All right, now we're gonna go over to the second line of code and type const globe. And then we're gonna require it from the globe package. So equals require globe. Uh, and then we're gonna promiseify that globe. So we type const promiseify. We're gonna shake back if it's the correct promiseify. Uh, we're gonna type require. We're gonna require it from the util. Now let's check if it's actually typed correctly. There we go. All right, now we're gonna pro promiseify the globe. So we're gonna type const globe promise or whatever you wanna call it is equals to promiseify globe. Pretty simple and straightforward so far. Now we're gonna go inside the model export um, and um, we're gonna type, we're gonna define where the command or the event files are. So const event files equals to await and you need to async if you want to use the await function here we're going to type globe promise and we're going to pass in the window of the of the folder or the process window so we type process dot c w d um, and we add this um, brackets wherever we call them uh, slash events or wherever your events folder is it's under my directory in the events and then because we have categories we're gonna also uh, include a star and then star.js so that means wherever the uh, event files are they're inside a folder called events inside any category and any uh, js file is an event file all right now we're gonna map these files because now they're basically inside a collection so we're gonna type event files dot map and um, here we're gonna assign each event file to be named file we can name it event whatever we want um, and then we're gonna create an error function and here we're gonna type or we're gonna define the event so const event equals require file so now that we have required the event uh, we're gonna shake if the event doesn't have a name then we're gonna we're gonna ignore that event so if exclamation mark event dot name then we're gonna return all right so now we're gonna check if the event type is one so for example if i go to my um one of my events the ready.js um you can see that the event type is one so client dot once and the rest of the events are client dot on so we're gonna check if the event is dot once so if event dot once then we're gonna execute the event as the uh, as a once event. So client dot once, and then here we're gonna pass the event name, and then our arguments args, and then we're gonna create a simple error function, and we're gonna type event dot execute, and here before we type here. So if you have many events, and let's go to our interaction create event for example. You see this order it's client interaction so if all of your events if you have many events and all of the execute orders are client interaction then in your uh, event handler you're gonna have to make it in the same order so you're gonna type client because you started with the client in your execute function and then we will provide the args so uh, comma three dots args pretty simple uh, and now we can copy this line over here and over at this line we're gonna type else create an, another code block and we're gonna paste the line over here and change the once to on 
All right, now if you want to console log what events you loaded, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you need to do is um, go down one more line here. Let's exit out of this line. And you're going to define the, 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 the event name, so const, or the category name, const c, which stands for category, is equals with file dot split. We're going to split the slash. All right. And now we can console log, so console dot log. Uh, and we can add an emoji. It has to be backticks. We can add an emoji, for example, this one. Uh, event loaded. All right. And then plus, we, we're going to add a space after I loaded. Then we're going to add a plus event dot name to upper, sorry, to upper case. And then we're going to add a plus back takes space from, we're going to type C and the C array dot length minus two. Pretty simple. Now let's try out our code. So we're going to go to the terminal and type node space dot. And like you see here, it loaded the events, but I removed them because I have console clear somewhere here in a second in the ready. So let me remove that real quick. So now we can see that event loaded ready from clients and event loaded interaction creates from interactions, which are um, correct. Uh, this for the um, commands, uh, watch our command slash command handle video if you want to get this console log too. Uh, but yeah, this should be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.